So hello and welcome. In this Adobe Animate tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a particle effect. In a software like After Effects, for example, you have uh, some kind of particle generator, but there is nothing uh, such dead in Adobe Animate. So we will have to work a little bit different. So right now I'm on the site Pixabay and I'm going to just some, I'm going to download some image. I'm going to provide the link in the description, but you can use any image that you want. So you can see that this is free for commercial use and no attribution required. So just hit download and you can get the image. Uh, now I will go to the Photoshop and I already created uh, some kind of um, canvas, which is 300 by 300 pixels. And I am going to create my own particles. And I am going to provide this image in the description, but you can uh, follow along right now and create your own particles. So uh, first of all, I'm going to create some kind of uh, background. So I'm going to click this uh, tool. I will go to solid color and I'm going to get some red color like this. And I'm going to, I'm going to hide the background because I do not need it. Then I'm going to create a new empty layer, create a new layer like so. And on this new layer, we are going to create some kind of uh, particles. So I will hit B or go to the brush tool and I'm going to right click. And in here, you are going to get something like this and you can choose different kind of brush. And I would like to go from top maybe to, I don't know what is the number, but uh, to this one, watercolor, fine drops, and I'm going to double click. And this is th something that you should have by default. Okay, I didn't install any of the brush, so uh, this should be there. And I'm going to double click. And now I'm going to make my brush bigger. So you can go in here on the top and make the brush bigger like so. Then hit enter or with alt and uh, right click on the mouse, you can drag like this. Okay. And now I am going to choose that my fill color is going to be white and I'm going to create some kind of particles like so. Okay. Like this. You can go and make your brush a little bit smaller and do something like this. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get eraser tool. So I'm going to hit E. It is this one. And again, I'm going to make this little bit bigger and I'm going to erase some of them. So I'm going to just click. And this is just the way how to create some kind of random particles. All right. So, and I'm going to leave only a few of them because uh, we are going to be duplicating this in Adobe Animate and I do not want to have too much of them. So something like this. Maybe I can go back to my brush tool and click one more time, eraser tool and erase some of them like so. Okay, so this is really optional and I'm going to provide uh, something like this in the description. So right now I'm going to hide this uh, red shape and we have these particles right now you do not see them, but they are there and we can uh, export this. So I will go to the file, uh, export, I can go with export S or save for web legacy. So export S. Uh, we want to choose PNG and we are going to hit export all. And I'm going to put this to my, to my folder. All right. So I save the particles and right now we can go to the animate. So I'm going to open my animate and uh, I already created, I can do this one more time. Control N. Uh, I am going to create uh, HTML5 canvas, uh, frame rate is not important. And I would like to go with uh, 300 by 600 pixels like so and hit create. And I will close my last one. So I have something like this. And now I'm going to import my particles and import my image in the canvas. So I will go to my folder. This is the image. So I'm going to drag it like so. And here are my particles. So I'm going to also drag them like so. All right. So now I'm going to click on my layer. This is going to highlight the particles and the image at the same time. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose distribute two layers because I do not want to have them on the one layer like so. 
and now I'm going to have uh, one layer with the image and one layer with the particles and one empty layer and I can delete it. Okay, so you can maybe see, I'm going to move the image like so, then here is my canvas and this image is too big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to, with, uh, with control and mouse wheel, zoom out a little bit and in here there is a, a transform tool and I can scale this down a little bit like so, maybe even better, a little bit more. Okay, so I'm on the 48%, so something like this. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, like so. So uh, I'm going to lock my image because I do not want to accidentally move it. So I'm going to hit lock in here. And I have, all, all that I have is these particles. And uh, maybe I have too much of the particles but uh, it doesn't matter because uh, you can go to the Photoshop and create your own if you want. But maybe a little bit less would be better. We will see. So now what I need to do is convert this to the symbol because we want to animate this. So I'm going to click on the particles. I will go to the modify, convert to symbols, symbol, and I can call this to be particles and OK. Now I'm going to extend my timeline. So maybe something like, um, I don't know, 300 is fine. So I'm going to click F5 and F5. This is just going to give me an uh, empty frame at the end. Okay. And these particles, I'm going to move them to the left a little bit. I can rename the layer to be particles, like so. And I will go to the, to the end. I'm going to click F6, which is new keyframe. And with my shift and arrow, I'm going to move this to the right like so, like this. And I'm going to right click anywhere in between and choose create classic twin. Okay, and now we are going to have uh, moving particles like this. I'm going to create new layer and I will go to the library. If you for any reason don't have library, you can go to the window and get library in here, but it should be here. And in here we have these two images and this is the movie clip. This uh, sign states for movie clip and we can see the name, the particles that we created. And I'm going to drag this from the library in here to have it one more time. And I can rename this to be uh, P2, for example, like particles number two. And right now we can go ahead and animate this from uh, left to right. And what we can do, for example, is hit Q or free transform tool and rotate this or maybe scale it like so. Okay, just adjust it a little bit or make it smaller. It's up to you. You can even go ahead and create two kinds of particles into Photoshop. So this is really optional. So something like this. Now I will go to the, to the last frame. I will hit F6 or you can right click and choose uh, insert keyframe. And I'm going to move this to the, to the left like so. All right, and I'm going to right click and create classic twin. So right now we are going to have uh, something like this. And uh, this is not going to look uh, very good yet. So one of the things that we have to do is duplicate this few more times. So one more time, I'm going to hit new layer. This is going to be P3. And again, I'm going to drag the particles like so, and temporarily I can go ahead and lock the bottom two particles so I'm not going to accidentally move them. And I'm going to animate this. I'm, I'm going to scale it a little bit, maybe rotate it a little bit like so. And I'm going to animate it again from left to right. But uh, this should have a different speed than the first one. So they are going to have some kind of... Uh, different different speed okay so something like this and i'm going to right click and choose create classic twin and we can see that these particles are moving a little bit faster than the bottom one all right we can do p4 and do something very similar for the top one so i'm going to get particles like so again i'm going to change it a little bit and now I can see that I should make maybe a little less of these particles into Photoshop, but uh, 
yeah, it's uh, I can see it only now. And I'm going to click F6, and I'm going to animate this to the right, like so, like this, and again, right click and create classic twin. All right. So I'm going to hit Control Enter, and we will see what we have. Okay, so we have something like this. And uh, in my taste, it is too slow. So what I'm going to do is actually move all of this. I'm going to highlight all of these uh, keyframes and I'm going to move it to maybe 200, like so. And everything else I'm going to remove. So I'm going to highlight all of them like so, right click, and I'm going to choose the remove frames or shift F5, shift F5 is the shortcut. So we are going to have something like this. Okay. And now what we can do is some of these particles at the beginning, I can click off them and move them a little bit more in the stage and this to the left, because at the beginning it is kind of empty. So like this and at the end, they are maybe too much, so I'm going to move some of them a little bit more inside. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Enter and we will see what we have. All right, so one of these bottom ones, it is uh, this one, I'm going to make them really go slow, like so, so that they are going to stay here, like this. And the bottom one should, one of them should go more away and one of them should stay in a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to create one more and last one. So this is going to be P5 and this one is going to be moving from top to the bottom. So I'm going to get particles one more time, like so. And somewhere in here. And uh, at the end, I'm going to hit F6 for the new keyframe and I'm going to animate them down and maybe to the left a little bit like so. And I'm going to right click and uh, create classic twin in here. Okay, control enter. And that is uh, too fast in my opinion. So I'm going to put it a little bit more up and at the end, at the beginning, I'm going to put it a little bit more to the bottom, like so. So this is not the best way to create particles, of course. If we have some kind of generator for the particles, it would be much, much better. But uh, in the Adobe Animate, you would have to code your particles, and that's something that's really not easy. <laughs> so this is one of the way how to create at least uh, some kind of uh, particles. All right. So one uh, last thing that we can do is we can go ahead and create uh, keyframes at the beginning, maybe on the frame 20. So I'm going to highlight it like so, hit F6, and then go on the first uh, frame, select all of them like so, go to the properties and choose that alpha is going to be zero. So they are going to appear at the beginning and we can make the same thing, same thing at the end. So F6 for all of them, and then go to the last keyframes, highlight all of them, and choose alpha, and maybe not zero, but some kind of small number. And I'm going to hit Control Enter, and we are going to have something like this. And maybe, ah, oh, it's fine. You can go ahead and play with this uh, as you want. But one thing that I would suggest is uh, be, uh, right now it would be hard to, to move the particles when we create this additional keyframe. So for example, if I want to uh, change the position of this P5, I can go ahead and get rid of this keyframe and I can do it by hitting sh Shift F6 and now I can go ahead and maybe 
move the beginning a little bit more to the bottom. You can see it because it's invisible right now. Then I will go in here, hit F6, click, and click with selection tool. And go to alpha and choose, zero, choose 100. And control enter. And it is going to start a little bit uh, later in here. All right, so I could go ahead and play with this up till I am uh, satisfied, but you can see the point and you can go ahead and uh, play and you can create some kind of your own particles, then you can save it and then just change the image and reuse it as many times as you want. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like, share it with friend. Uh, I have many other tutorials about Adobe Animate, about After Effects and so on. So go check the channel and I will see you maybe in the, some other video. Goodbye.